Hi guys, again welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Chef Henry. So today is another dish I'm going to show you, which is is called very common and also very nice, delicious chicken and mushroom pie. So let's I'm going to introduce uh, what are the ingredients we're going to use for chicken and mushroom pie. So I have the already uh, boneless chicken, which is I'm using for the fresh one. So then. I have some fresh mushrooms. If you don't have the like the portable mushrooms, same as it is, you can buy from which is available from the supermarket called the butter mushrooms. I prefer because of uh, mushroom oil freshness, you get a good taste and good aromatic flavor. So this is called the fresh uh, the white sauce, which I show you in my previous video. And for the we have some garlic, ginger, onion for the seasoning, salt and pepper. Okay, let's start. Uh, we'll take the chicken. So you don't have to chop the chicken. Make sure the thin slice. You cut it first. And afterwards, you have to make as a cubes. This is how we need the chicken for the chicken and mushroom pie. So let's start to make a chicken and mushroom pie. So already we preheat the pan. Now I get some, some two tablespoons of canola oil. So what I do is the first I'm going to add uh, chopped garlic and onion. So nice to get a nice aromatic flavor and the taste. Don't overheat the pan. Your price mix. So we're gonna add some uh, notes of onions. To mix it nicely. You don't have to overcook while you mix it, you can take your chicken. So direct in straight into your pan you can add it. So mix nicely. You can see the nice moisture because why we adding the chicken the last before the adding for the, the mushroom. So the chicken should be cooked with the moisture with the juicy and you can see nicely. Don't get dry. So what I do is I'll do the same thing, so add seasoning, some salt and some black pepper. Mix it. You can see the nice smell is coming now. So always 
when you use the file, you must have to use the cubes because if there's no cubes actually, you can't see any feeling the chicken or the mushrooms. So today I will show you how the chicken and mushroom pie. And the next step I will show you for another feeling of like uh, different kind of feelings. So I will add some now, by which I took some fresh mushrooms. So give up rice mix with the chicken curry. So always, when you're serving chicken and mushroom, I'm going to serve with that, uh, the white sauce, which I call you bechamel. And uh, you can check my, the previous video, I already showed you how to make uh, the bechamel sauce. So now the time I'm going to add some bechamel to get the reduction with the bechamel sauce. So now I already add my, the bechamel sauce, you can see how that Thickness will be coming out generally. It's very uh, the white mix, no extra spices. So let's try the taste. It's not cooked, overcooked. Wow, it's, the diesel is nice, delicious, but I feel I need more touch of salt. So here is a uh, slight touch of another black pepper. So this is. So how the fine finishing product so let it be cooled down so i will show you how to make the chicken and mushroom pie now we're going to start uh, chicken and mushroom pie so we need to arrange first of all uh, the pie shells so you can buy from any supermarket or else you can buy any the muffin shells which is available in the supermarket the full set you can use anything so it's much better in individuals so you can use how many you need and according to that you can bake it. So first what you do is, so we need two cutters. I will show you why you reason for taking the two cutters. So you don't need the ruler. First of all I will give a small touch up with oil to get the seasoning for the bottom. Then easy to take it unmold it and uh, the pie from the mold. So just rub it nicely. So both sides, see it very gently. So if you have a pastry brush, it doesn't make a sense. If you don't have, no problem, you can do that. Now what I do is, I arrange all these things together and just sip the flask on top. It's very clear, you can see the excess flask and take it off. So already we done the oil with all these molds. I have two cutters. The first cutter will take the top part, which is cover the lid for the pie. So I will take cut off the six pieces of this and six pieces of the big cutter. So we'll start the six pieces from the top of the lid.
Then I'll organize a gauche on the sides, on the top of the, the top of the corners and the pie shells. Then cover with the lid and spoil the, the decorations of the pipe. So now we can see, I just do the wash. You can do the all in one time. Even you can keep this, you once you make with the fillings, you can keep uh, two weeks maximum, not more than that, because the chicken is getting a, uh, uh, the taste will be can change once you keep it a long time in the freezer. So whenever you need, what you do is defrost, it's like uh, half an hour to keep it outside. Then you can egg wash, you can bake it. So let's see how I'm doing. Just take the, the shell, and keep on the top, and you can press it nicely. Here we do that. Press nicely tight. So this is chicken and mushroom pie. So we're going to bake it 480 Celsius degrees for 30 minutes. So you can put it in the center. And you can uh, keep for uh, 30 minutes. So now this is the, the timing, we're going to take it out for the chicken and mushroom pie. You can see the, the color and see it's nicely puffed out and there's no damage at all. So once it's done for the baking, you don't have to press this, leave it cool down for a while for outside and you can take it off. So if there any comments, please let us know. Hope to see you in the next video with the new the dishes. Thank you very much.